Greetings, welcome to Jankanu. And uh, yeah, it's so nice to be back doing bits and pieces. I think the last few few times uh, I've been just sending up bits and pieces, which we'll be doing very soon as well. So welcome. I noticed there's already about, uh, where are we? Oh, doctor, 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 doctor is in the house. Doctor is in the house. Doctor Bedin got Donnelly Trail. I always say your name wrong. <laughs> I always say your name wrong. But this time I think I said it right. Welcome. And uh, I don't know if somebody got in touch with you. Uh, let me know. Because there was a gentleman who came from the Bahamas and they were filming something to do Jankanu here in UK. And apparently they couldn't find anybody, anyone at all, who could actually do the Jankanu thing. And I'm like, what really? It's like, yeah. So I gave them your contact. So I hope... Um, that way down. I guess I'm going to play here. So anyway, I'm going to be here maybe for half an hour or two. Anyone who's there, say hi. I know that there's about, I think, five or ten people there. And uh, so, yeah, say hi. Also, we're going to look into all sorts of things. So we're going to look at the global carnivals because carnivals have started. As you know, carnivals started on Boxing Day. And a lot of people did all sorts of things. I need to look out and I'll be looking a lot of stuff online. I'm also going to check with you, working with you, what carnivals are happening, right? Brazil, Trinidad, and so on. Uh, Jankanu is very fortunate because we've got friends in high places. So in terms of Rio, we, next week, we're going to be doing a lot of coverage. So I think from Friday onwards, we're going to be live almost like every day. So check out. And in Brazil, we've got Mariana Pino, uh, who's actually working with uh, one of the hotels that actually does all these things for Rio Carnival. So she'll be reporting for us, shooting live stuff for us. Manuela Benin is also there. Anna is also there. They're going to be sending stuff. So you guys are going to be sort of well involved. And then we go to Trinidad. Trinidad and Tobago. So in Trinidad and Tobago, we've got uh, Mr. Soka Massive, Michael. He's there. And also Robina Wardrobe is there. And then I'm also speaking to people from the National Carnival Band Association. So we're going to be well involved. After that, we go to, where do we go? To Venice. Yeah, Venice. My friend Tobias is in Venice. He's going to be sending stuff to us on that. And then if, uh, I know that Tenerife, people like Helen and Cheryl are trying to go to Tenerife. Or oh, Angela, are you going as well? I can't remember. Some of you guys are going there. So I'm going to keep you well informed. And uh, so who else is in the house? Hey, Nadia. Nadia, you're supposed to be here. You're supposed to be here, Nadia. Listen, Nadia, I'm really sorry I couldn't come to the gig, right? One of the reasons was just like the trains were not doing very well and I, I wasn't driving, as you know. So I ended up missing your beautiful, wonderful gig, so I hope it went very well. Ah, Madam Duncan herself. The Yah Queen, Yah Queen, welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, yes, anything, anything you want to share, let me know, yeah? I'll just announce it here. And as you can see, this is just the start. They were just doing like 30 minutes. But from now onwards, trying to uh, work with the Trinidad Carnival, trying to work with the Rio Carnival, uh, Pernambuco Carnival and all that, we are going to be here. So welcome everybody. Now, I don't know, actually, I'm just going to play you something before I start talking about all these uh, international carnivals. So what can I really play you? Let's see. We go to the dumping world. Right? And... Oh la la! Oh, um, I think, Doctor, you are happy here, right? Because we are showing your home thing. Yeah, this is Jankanu up in the, the Bahamas. I'll show a bit of that and then we will talk more about these carnivals that are happening abroad, which ones are happening in February. That's all we want. That's the main thing we want to find out today, right? Which ones are happening? And we are all happy that COVID is sort of more or less like allowed us to go back onto the road. So, uh, just check this. Uh, this is a, okay. What carnival? This is a Jankanu, um starting up in the Bahamas. But I don't think that's what I wanted to show you, though. But anyway, I'll let you show this, and then I will go into different things. Uh, day of the day, the Exodus Two Orchestra, and things like that. So check this for a moment, and I'm going to get myself ready, ready, ready. I missed breakfast. I missed dinner last night. So ah, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Enjoy that.
tapes, they need some music, there's no music playing there. Um, right, so right now, is out there. Uh, now, for some of you who don't know about the Jankanu Carnival, uh, everything you see there is made out of cardboard, made out of recycled material, sticks, blue feathers. There is no, uh, you know, uh, anything damaging to the environment here. So it's not even a car moving. This is just all completely designed and done using recycled material. So anyone who's come here for the first time, that's what Jankanu is all about. We say junk and new, which means taking junk and making new things out of it. That way, the environment, we sort of playing our part on terms of protecting the environment. So that's what junk is all about. You know, I'm going to play one more thing before I start looking into all these global carnivals, because I know a lot of people have been asking me about this. So we're going to check what, what, oh yeah, there's a swingers new year carnival we've done that and some of you asked me about carnival in venice we're going to see if it's happening anyway but this is it this is the carnival in venice right too commercial for my liking but it's a carnival gondoria and all that so anyway i'm going to fast forward the carnival of venice is an annual festival held in venice italy it is said that the Carnival of Venice was started from a victory of the Serenissima Repubblica against the Patriarch of Aquileia in the year 1162. Apparently, this festival started on that period and became official in the Renaissance. In the 17th century, the Baroque Carnival was a way to save the prestigious image of Venice in the world. of mass gold leaf and are all hand painted using natural feathers and gems to decorate. Decoration and often had a symbolic and practical function. Nowadays most of them are made with the application of gesso and gold leaf and are all hand painted using natural feathers and gems to decorate. That's how it should be really, uh, using feather and uh, recycled material. And these guys actually get carried away because sometimes they use fiberglass. So that's not really brilliant, is it? So that is kind of a, in Venice. And for some of you, for those global things, I don't know what they call them. If you look on it, there is actual 3D or whatever they call it, 3 dimensional. So that is kind of a, in Venice. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to go and check these other carnivals because people keep asking me what carnivals are happening. So we're going to go on the internet and check all these carnivals happening. So um, what do we do here? Right, so here we go. Oh, I'm going to be looking on a different computer now. Uh, you can't see anything. So there is... A few websites that are talking about all sorts of stuff going on, but I, we are all interested in Jankanu. Uh, oh, it's Chinese New Year. We are interested in Jankanu and also we're interested in Carnival and we're interested in the African masquerade that you find in uh, Winiba and uh, Takarodi in Ghana and other places in Africa like that. So uh, I think we need to play a bit of music here. That will do. Right, so anyway, so this is, this is, I think somebody just got this website that shows all the different things, events that happen. Uh, some of them are crazy stuff. So you got the National Storytelling Week, which is a nice, good idea. Uh, Ground of Hope, World Day, Play, World Play, Ukulele Day. I need to, oh, I missed it. I missed it. I was going to play ukulele, even though I don't know how to do it. Winter Olympics, where were the Winter Olympics in Beijing? Oh yeah, we missed that. World Nuchela, World Ukulele Day, again, waiting. Anyway, let's go to Carnival. This is not Carnival, right? This is just all sorts of uh, weird stuff here. Okay, so let's see which one is this. Uh, no, no, don't worry about that one. Okay, let's see 
things. Different carnivals going on here. That's Venice again. Aha! Goa carnival, that one that happens in, in, uh, in India. I, I went to India with uh, Kinetica when we did the um, Kolkata carnival. And a lot of people did not know about Goa carnival, and yet it's in India. What's that all about? Anyway, this was started centuries, years ago by the Portuguese when they were in, uh, when they go to Madeira in Goa. So, uh, are they doing it? That is the main thing. Are they doing it? So, this is Goa carnival. You see that? They get carried away because it's very sort of like really real style carnival. Yeah, they do it like real style. Uh, that's the float. So, how to enter very started we don't want to enter we just want to know if you are happening that's all goa is too annual festival so it looks like goa carnival is happening nobody's talking about uh no one is talking about its cancellation but when you are looking on the internet one thing you need to be careful with is that there is people who sell holidays in a um, in all these kind of places. That's a very interesting concept there. <laughs> ah, what's going on here? This is uh, some characters in the in the carnival. Comrade Jong Dong, whatever his name is, and Comrade Trump from all together in one place. That's what carnival. That's what I like that carnival. We can say what we want to say without anybody harassing us. Now the carnival in Goa is going to be from the 26th of February to the 1st of March. What date is it today? Somebody tell me. Wow, Jade, come, welcome, Jade, welcome, Jade. Wind, Etima, yeah, tell me, how is it going in Devon? Because you guys, you got the worst of this uh, silly uh, Hurricane Boris thing that's come about. No, 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 no. I was, I keep saying, why don't you call it Hurricane, you know, I arrest my case. Okay, so that's Goa Carnival, right? And uh, so it looks so oh, these are the dates, right? I was trying to check up what date it is, then instead I found out that uh, Madame is here. Um, ah, so 20th, right? Okay, so that means Panji is going to happen on the 20th, which is next week. And then they got ah, so if you want to go to Goa, ladies and gentlemen, in India, it's all there, and they do amazing floats. Their floats are always amazing. That's one thing I always remember of Goa Carnival. The floats, the amazing floats that they make, and also they do have some port thing. If you want to get there, this is how it goes. I don't know if somebody you want you want to fly tomorrow. Uh, the Goa International Airport is known as Dabolim Airport, and it's located in Dabolim, but Dabolim. Ah. Okay, so anyway, so that is a uh, Goa carnival in India. So where else should we check out? Pernambuco in Recife, that is my hometown. Recife and Olinda, they have some amazing carnival. I've been involved in the past as a judge and I've performed there so many times in Olinda carnival in Recife. So the city is expecting an outbreak of flu cases. No, 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 no. The city is experiencing an outbreak of flu cases. The city of Recife, Pernambuco, announced this Wednesday the suspension of the program. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's no carnival in Pernambuco, okay? So, we should, should have taken off from the 25th, which is this week, up to the 5th of March. That's not happening. I'm really sorry. That's not happening, right? I'm going to play you something anyway while we're going through this. So, anyway, this is not happening at all. So, nothing to report there. So, Pernambuco and Recife, sorry, 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 sorry. How about Rio? Notting Hill. Who la la? The mother of UK carnivals, right? Notting Hill. Yeah, that is definitely happening. Now, listen, why I know that is going to happen is because the queen. Oh, I was just doing a COVID test and I am negative. No, positive. Negative. I don't know the difference. Uh, Notting Hill carnival is going to happen really because. There's a lot of things going on. In June, there's going to be the Queen's Jubilee, right? So if that happens, honestly, I can't see any politicians coming and say you can't do nothing to carnival. I can't see that because it's two months after that. So that should be happening. So those people who love Notting Hill know that it's going to happen. The only thing I've been saying to Matthew here, what I've been saying to Matthew is organizing it, is that people haven't been on carnival for years right two years and this is the third year 
So somebody needs to get really, really worked up here. They, they really need to make sure everything's okay because I'm imagining instead of uh, one and a half million turning up in Notting Hill, it could be three million because I've already had quite a lot of people calling me from Amsterdam, Japan, and so on saying it's Notting Hill, can't happen, nothing can happen. It is happening. So you guys make sure that you're safe. And also for, for the organizers, Matthew and the Lord, uh, just watch it really because this is, this could be disastrous because of the because of the congestion and people getting very excited about carnival so nothing new carnival is definitely happening oh oh they they are showing all the official bands now that's brilliant angela are you there because these bands here are normally uh managed by uh well, come no 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 i don't want to do that i don't want to do that leave me alone right so come usual up I sort of like, I think I'm out of this with Reef because there's so many new bands in Notting Hill, right? Arawak is still there, out of like, Calabash, Candy Mass, but some of them are new, I don't know who they are. Uh, and then some of the old ones are no longer there, like Biraha and people like that, they're no longer around. But it's good to see that there's new blood going, new blood going. So well done, Angela, in terms of just maintaining camp. Uh, with this membership so and I hope you're going to go forward and we did at Global Carnivals we did a uh, run some training for CAMF uh, to do with live streaming and knowing carnivals nationally and regionally so I really endorse and really uh, encourage you uh, guys CAMF and all the lot to be sort of passing information and sharing uh, knowledge and training with the others that's how carnival is going to to, to progress, I am 100% sure about that. Apparently, I'm supposed to do half an hour, right? I'm supposed to be doing half an hour here, but, ah, there's another carnival. This is Bridgewater Carnival. Bridgewater Carnival is one of these old English carnivals. I think it's over 400 years old, and it happens in Somerset. That area there is got about maybe another 12 or 15 carnivals in the different places, right? Uh, Shepton, I think it's called. Then you've got uh, Mallet or something. Then you've got uh, Glastonbury. These are all the different areas that these groups will tour. So each group tours each other's uh, thing. I did show quite a lot about um, uh, what's going on here. I did show quite a lot of the the this carnival here. Um, and what they do, they get carried away with these massive floors. Ah, come on, I don't want that. Why? Get rid of that. Yeah. So these are some of the massive floors that they have in, in a bridge water. And they do something called squibbing. It's amazing. They line up the streets with all those sticks holding the fireworks. By the way, any of you don't know about bridge water, it's all sort of like really, its concept is based around, you know, that guy who wanted to burn the House of Parliament, you know, Guy Fox and all that. So this is amazing. I don't know anywhere in the world where they do squibbing. And squibbing is amazing. I think uh, through the Great British Carnival, I would say, and uh, some of the stuff that was happening during the Olympic time, uh, we brought the squibbers to, to the Olympic Park. And that was amazing, working with uh, shed makers and the other carnivals, Clary and people like that were involved. So that is, wow, look at that. That is squibbing, you know, just really get carried away. And these are some of the floats. I struggle with the floats myself because of Jankanu. For Jankanu, normally we don't like to have these uh, uh, generators going. So this generator, the, the, the generator thing we don't allow. I'm actually online right now. So the generator thing we don't allow, and the Bridgewater do that, but uh, the squibbing part of it also sometimes could be quite a bit off. So this is squibbing for some of you who don't know what it is. Uh, hold on. Uh-huh. Is it going to show? And one year I did take part in the squibbing. You know, the thing is you have to wait for years and years to be a squibber. So they put the fire there, everybody lights it, and then what happens is they hold it up in the air. These things burn, 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 burn for like five, ten minutes or something. The one that's still burning, when everybody wants is come off, is the winner. That's what sweeping is. Ah, uh, come on, get on with it. Ah, uh, forward. Ah, I give up. I give up very quickly. I agree. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on. 
When it starts, when it starts, it looks like uh, it looks like uh, uh, that's why I'm showing this. It looks very much like uh, Jankanu, right? Angelica, are you watching? And uh, Dino, Dino, no, 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 Bob the Builder, ga, 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 ga. So this reminds me a lot of Jankanu, only that the the equipment they are using is trucks and things like that, and they're using electricity. They're using a lot of light bulbs to explain their things. So they would have like 150 of these floats, and these are coming from Bridgewater itself and the surrounding area. So the two on each other's thing. So that is that is that is. That's Bridgewater, right? So what other carnivals there? No, we've done Bridgewater. We don't want to see it anymore. Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Now Rio. This will be held in the late April instead of... Right, so what they've done in Rio is that they decided that they are not sure COVID is actual... Uh, sort of relax, really. So what they've done, they say, okay, let's give it another month and do it in April, the weekend in April. Uh, no, some, yeah, sometime in April. So that's what they are doing with Rio Carnival. Uh, what else? Rio Carnival, World Famer, the South American, the decision was made. Aha, okay, there we go. Uh, the South American nation has been seeing an increase in COVID. Oh, so the COVID in, 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 uh, <laughs> in Brazil. The, in Brazil is uh, still getting on and whatever. So they decided, due to that highly contagious, America very prompting officials to reschedule Carnival Paris to late April. That allows some of us, if we want to go, we could go. No, hold on, March, April. Yeah, I could go. The decision was made respecting of the current situation of COVID pandemic in Brazil and need at this time to preserve lives and join forces uh, to drive vaccination throughout the country. So there you have it. And my our 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 colleague there is working there. Oh, no. I just seen something. Is it anything to know? I don't need to look at that. It says the Britain's Queen Elizabeth test positive for COVID. Oh, my God. That is scary considering. It. So that is Rio Carnival there. So you know about Rio Carnival. And we will be keeping you informed because uh, our colleague uh, Mariana is there. So next week I'll be showing you. I'll update you. But this time it's going to be live. I'm going to show you live what's happening in Rio next week. Working with Mariana Pino who's actually doing quite a key job there. Uh, so that is Rio Carnival. Now Trinidad. Trinidad. Trinidad Carnival. Uh, what we say about can you, uh, um, I don't know where Angelic is today because I'm going to annoy a big time because carnival in Trinidad, they say it's the greatest show on earth. And the Bahamas say it's the greatest show on earth. And in Brazil, they don't say it's the greatest show on earth, but they just say it's the mother of carnivals. So everybody's mother. So anyway, we see what, what, what happens with uh, Trinidad, you know, what's happening. So Trinidad, they are not going to do a procession. These are the programs, right? So 24th, which is this Friday, it's the Calypso Tent. And then on the 19th is the National Pan Event. On the 20th is Clash of the Tents. 20th is traditional and conventional individual competition. So we look at old style mass. And then on set, 20 Tuesday, this 22nd, is the senior kings and queen, uh, pre minus. And then Friday, the 5th, is re enactment of Kanubara riots. Oh my God, I need to see that. I need to see that. Because that's, oh yeah, carnival. I would like to see that. You know, some of you who know, who don't know about the carnival history, uh, some of the stuff that was happening is the slaves will be, uh, we're, we're not allowed to do anything really. But when it came to burning of the hen and so on, I think that's where they were having time to sort of create other things. Then the National Pan event is on, is this thing set up by Tedco? Tedco, because it's all about pan. What's happening? Pan and Calypso. Ah, okay, 27th is the best of the king and queen's competition. So, by the way, nothing is happening on the road. All this is going to be outdoors. This is, this is all going to be, yeah, there's no, oh no, it's going to be indoors, I mean. 
Uh, nothing is going on. Oh, there's also a carnival comedy. Ooh la la. So that is carnival in Trinidad, and this is from the National Carnival Band Association. Uh, so they are saying carnival 22. So these are the schedules we have seen so far. So hold on. So mass registration, if you want to register for the, to take part. I don't know if it's not late now. Anyone wants to go to Trinidad now, I know because uh, what we're going to do with Trinidad is we've got Michael, Alton, and Rubina who will be reporting back to us about what's going on there. Yeah, I thought so. I thought the competition is closed. Anyway, what does it take? What does it take to, to, to take part in Carnival? In, uh, so registered phone can be collected at the NCC. My secretarial, please say advice. Traditional, conventional, individual competition takes place on Sunday. Ah, it's too late for me to join my band. Ah, yeah, 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 yo, yo. Ah, what a shame. Oh, yeah. So this is someone else. The thing is, what happens with this, as I say earlier, is a lot of people uh, write about this, but if it's to do with tour, you see, if it's to do with people who organize tour organization, for example, they'll give you a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff about rubbish and so on. Come, come, come. They don't even check that it's happening or not because they want your money. You buy your ticket, you get this holiday thing, and they go there, it's nothing happens. Anyway, these are our colleagues at Soccer News. Uh, they're just reporting back on Trinidad Carnival. After missing... Kanye has just one year due to COVID. Trinity that kind of will be returning into, but with some major changes that will very possibly make it entirely unrecognizable. What? Next year's carnival will be, why are you saying next year's carnival? We are in 2022. We will be taking a very different turn due to measures put in place by the Trinidad government to prevent people from contacting the virus. So there you go. So we've got some carnivals happening. Some of them are not happening. So this is the, this is what's exactly going on here. Uh, what's this one? That's Trinidad again. Uh, visit Trinidad, yo. Okay, out of the way. And then there's a parent here. So any kind of you want to know if they are happening or not, let me know. So I am going to see what I can play for you, for you right now. So, I mean, people keep asking me, I mean, can you show me that thing about making the guitar again and so on? And, uh, uh, you know, uh, you need enough time for this. I think it's like 15 minutes or something, 15 minutes, 15 minutes or so of uh, getting it to play. And I only got two minutes left on here. But if there's something you want to know, yes, let me know. And thanks a lot for those people who are there at the moment. And I am now going to yeah, find something to play for you. So let's go to the dumping ground again. And see what we can offer you. Okay, so that was Venice. So now we're going to go to... Okay, what else we change? I'm trying to look at something I can play. So let's see... The Carnival of African Venice is an annual done. festival held in Venice, Italy. So here we go!
that was the carnival, the African masqueraders in the in um, in the states, and uh, so I'm going to also show you one more thing. Um, what can we show you? Calabar carnival in Africa, and uh, I think yes, Calabar carnival in Africa. This is in Nigeria. Um, what am I doing? Here? Okay. Yes, so that is that's African masquerade in uh, African masquerade in uh, Nigeria. So we're going to come back again this whole week. We're going to be live streaming here, there, here, there, and so on. And uh, Jankan has come a long way. We really. started two years ago, uh, Boxing Day, uh, when COVID was like, uh, nobody can go out, nobody can go out type of thing. That's when we started. And uh, let me just show you some of the, like our page on Facebook. If you miss anything, our page on Facebook, would show you there's a lot there now at the moment like right now i'm just in a i'm in a what month is this uh, that's when we're doing like every sunday each sunday we were doing it each sunday so that was in august 8 august 2021 well we go further back you know and um yeah and then that what when was that so as you can see some of you who are new to this year this uh, environment sustainability is our key thing is very key to what we do with Janka new uh so you can see or you can see they were showing programs about that we show a lot of programs on the, all these uh different subjects and where were we here this was episode one huh? no no series one episode eight Ooh, we've been going and we also did quite a lot of collaborations, and we did this collaboration with the... Uh, and we were also on the front page of Soka News, uh, where they were talking about Janka New, and, uh, which was very good for us, really. We managed to get more people coming to Janka New and check up. So that was in August, just before what was supposed to be Notting Hill Carnival. And we kept showing all different things. Oh, that is really brilliant video, that one there. You know, where Genesis start from the uh, one place, and then they end up joining up like a... A uh, mob thing, but it wasn't a mob thing, really. So I am going to 
finish. I'll show two more things and then that is it really. And then we're going to give you the program. Please keep your eyes open. We're going to release this week the whole schedule that we're going to have until Carnival is finished. So Carnival, most of the Carnivals have started now and they end, I think, March, yeah, mid-March. And there is Carnival that's been moved to go to start up in April and so on. So we will keep on, we keep you informed. And I also did it on purpose, really, not to announce that we're going to do this, uh, mainly because we really just want to start getting everybody to be there with us. So... Okay, so we will see you next week. So I'll leave you with how to make a guitar using a cardboard. Uh, yes, that should be very interesting. And uh, please, please share. Let people know. Let people know um, what we are doing here. So I'm going to give you. Yes, how to make a guitar. We go. Where is that? This Yeah, we showed this last time. I think I showed this a uh, few, uh, yeah, two months ago. And um, after that, people kept asking for this. So I brought it back again. And then you're asking again. So anyway, this is how to make a guitar. And uh, I still haven't made mine, but I know, I know, oh God, I'm disturbing, aren't I? I know that um, Angela, Angela from the Ask Council, Angela Chapel, she made one which we actually showed here and she shared with the others. And, and then also, I think next week we'll be going on the how to make a new guard, how to make a car. Somebody made a car. A moving car, I'm not talking about just like a toy, like a moving car. So this, uh, I want to make this. That's straightforward. Wow. But the music is not good. Really. Let's get rid of the music. Let's play something else. Parang parang. Parang 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 parang. That's what they use for playing parang, the guitar.
some research. Uh, yeah, we did some research on the Italian volunteer. I'm freaking out here. Nadia, is that you? Uh, okay. Anyway, we we did big carnival, so we set up this uh, uh, guy. This is UK carnival guy, right? And uh, with this one here, because I think we start the uh, global carnival, we went to the lot of different carnivals. Yeah, so Global Carnivals work with a lot of carnivals. Uh, for example, right now, I'm actually, as soon as I finish this, I'm going to St. Paul's in Bristol, uh, where I've got a contract to be advising them on their artistic development. That used to be a carnival that I used to organize a few years ago. So as soon as I finish this, I'm on my way there. I hope they win, they know that's going to allow me. So working with that, and also I've worked with the uh, Oxford Carnival, Cal Cali Road Carnival, and uh, St. Paul's Carnival and Cali Road Carnival, I'm not going to say it's happening or not happening, so you keep your eyes and ears open. Same thing with another carnival that I work with, which is uh, the Hackney Carnival. I can't say it's not happening or happening, and they also the Harley International Carnival that I'm involved in, but that one, they went in some sticky moments as a... Uh, it got disrupted by one man, and that one man disrupted not not really good. Hey, the man who the man who had a, a horse that we would own the queen. Now, should I say that? Ah, <laughs> no, I'm not saying anything. My lips are sealed. Mm. 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 Roger, beauty of seal ideas. You can tell where, where, where he's coming from. Beauty of seal ideas. You can tell. Anyway, we are going to be showing Roger talking about how he met the Queen. He showed that before and people have been asking me about this. So we're going to be showing. These are some of the snippets we'll be doing. So let me just tell you exactly what we are doing now. From now onwards, almost like every day, we'll be showing programs, right? So these are like programs that we've shown before. Uh, but this time, instead of showing like four hours, we're just showing like one program at a time. And also, I was talking about this uh, uh, carnival guide. It's got 161 UK carnivals, and I keep getting a lot of international people saying, "Oh, we thought not. We thought uh, UK was just not in here." They were shocked to find out it got all these carnivals happen. All these carnivals are happening in England, ladies and gentlemen. So, anyone who's interested in this booklet, get in touch. Uh, we still got a few hard copies. Otherwise, if uh, I need to show you something else now before I go. I'm just about to go. Uh, oh, it looks like it's 10 to 2, so I might as well do 10 minutes, right? So that means I've done an hour instead of 30 minutes. Jankanu is always like that. Why, why, why? Nobody knows. So anyway, so let's go to to something I can dump on you. Uh, okay, what can you do? No, let's, let's just like quickly. <laughs> No, no. I was going to show you the basics of beatbox. Wow, right. Now it needs to be understood here. Is that? Uh, no, no, we don't want to play the guitar again. Come on, man. What's wrong with you? We've made the guitar already. We don't want to make it again. Right. So wait, what was I going on about? No, I'm just saying, it's, what we encourage on Janka Nu, right, is uh, being very friendly to the environment, right? Anything you do. So in terms of music, we encourage in terms of music, we encourage you to use something that's not damaging, no generators. So if you're using brass instruments like as they do in Samba, as they do in Takarodi, as they do in the Bahamas, or if you're using percussion, as they do in all these places, or if you're using cardboard, cardboard, cardboard is the way to go. And uh, I'm just so, I'm so excited seeing Roger here because we are going to take Jankanu into all the different regions in UK because Roger has already got the stuff that we need. We can do the live streaming in every festival, in every village and so on. So watch out, Jankanu this summer is going to be traveling in different places. So be ready for us and also anything you want to know how to do, how to make. Let us know who will be here. The, the This Facebook page is where we do and also YouTube, right? So please keep connected there. So now, what was I going to show you? Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoop, 
whoop, whoop. Hey, 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 hey. Now listen, in uh, the Bahamas, they got so many of these Jankano groups, right? I've got my favorites, but I'm not going to say my favorite, right? But I'm always showing the other ones, and I always leave out one crucial one, which I love as well, and it's called Roots. Now check Roots Jankanu in the Bahamas. Look at it up! Get up, love it! Get up! Yeah, just to say to some of you who don't know Jankanu in the Bahamas, <laughs> everything there is made out of cardinal, feathers, sticks, glue, nothing. There is no generator there, there is no diesel there, there is no fiberglass or anything like that. So that is Jankanu in The Mardi Gras take us to the river. I think they're going to the river yeah, that they all love. The river, I told my father I was putting his in. He was good with that. We still have probably half of him in the box at, at the bar at Vaughn's where we can sit him on the table to watch Saints games and buy him a screwdriver. Yeah, the, all the others are in the same place, except for John Sipos. He's uh, in a go-cup in the kitchen, waiting to be put in. The culture is just different here, you know, the Big Easy. It's just, it's a very laissez-faire attitude. It's just not an uptight place. Uh, originally, we would just go to Canal Street and watch Rex, and then we started doing this whole ritual where we would then go to the river afterwards, and anybody who had died, we would throw their ashes in. So it was a time when a lot of people were dying of AIDS. And some of our best friends, were dropping like flies. We needed a, a way to honor them. Laughter is the only cure for grief, and I believe that love is stronger than death. Here, here. It's life and death. It is the bringer of life through death. Um, everything that, that dies in the sediment breeds all the biggest estuaries in the whole world. It, it makes what we know as New Orleans. That's interesting because that's sort of similar to what they do in the Bahamas, sending off people. I think last time we showed you here the people in the Bahamas sending off Percy. Uh, roughly the same thing. It's, very it's beautiful. I mean, it's so beautiful with them dipping the streamers in the river and flicking them back and anointing everybody that's on the steps going down. Not, not just the people putting ashes, everybody. So you might get wet. <laughs> You're laughing and it's funny and you're drinking and then all of a sudden you go to do the toss and you get choked up. And when you throw something in, it's connected to everything and it goes everywhere in the world eventually. I want somebody to put me in the river on Mardi Gras day with some glitter. I'm gonna end up everywhere. <laughs> So that's Mardi Gras, and that's how they send off people, which, as I say, so similar to the... Uh, we are back in Africa. So this is kind of a Rwanda. Rwanda in Africa. Everybody in Africa. I love it because what I'm going to say, the cash is the cash is the environment, just the cash is the environment. I hope you enjoyed this uh, segment.
as I say, I hope you've enjoyed the show and um, glad. I am happy as usual. Everybody knows that I'm so at home when I come here to do these programs. And again, this program will stay online. We will post it to YouTube and all that so more people can see it and watch it, which is what's been happening so far. So thank you very much. And please, please try to tell everybody about this, especially our, our things presence on YouTube because YouTube is a hard nut to crack. That's all I can say. So, you enjoy yourself. And I think I was going to leave you with uh, the steel pan in Trinidad, which I can't find now. Where is the Trini? Where is the steel pan? Where is the steel pan? <laughs> Right, let's get the steel pan, steel pan in Trinidad. Ah, where are you? Oh, yeah, Exodus Steel Orchestra, okay? They will be on the Savannah. This is in 1992. 1992, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I grew up into the culture, so I wanted my kids, them, even though they're born here, to get into the culture. My name is Ricardo Watson. I'm the second band leader here at Phoenix International. When I got involved, I said, let me do something. Since my child is here, that's when I got involved with the costume. And that was back in the 80s. Phoenix, I've got 30 stitches, seconds and left, so and everything. then this comes and on. Come on, I need to go to Bristol. As long as you got the so design, this is, uh, December, I just, I just came here just to let you know that January, this is, uh, February, get my people them. So this, is them carnival, this is a carnival in, in, uh, in America, and uh, also I will be there actually from next month, we'll be there touring. So that is uh, just really the back behind scenes at one of the mass camp, which in the Bahamas they say shark. Uh, and then we say in the Trin in the in Trinidad they say mass camp, and then in uh, in the English sense they say well European really they say creation center. So this man is talking about this creation center, and no, I'm supposed to I be going not the doing accessories. this again. The accessories is either two or four for each person. If you have fifty person in a band, you know how many four pieces of that you have to make. These young ladies come all the way from the Bronx to do the work here. I could give them anything to do and not to worry about them. Anybody else, I have to go back and look. <laughs> the felt will come up, you put this in the back, in the material so you feel comfortable when you put it on there. Mm -hmm. Well, the gems, we go to the city. 38th Street, between 7th and 8th Avenue. The two blocks from 42nd Street, you get everything you want. Feathers, trimming, 
but they're expensive. Yeah. A pound of feathers is almost $600. Especially this week, you go there, you want to cry. You see that bottle of glue? It was $7, $8, not at $13. They feel you have money. And they don't realize that sponsorship will help a lot of these bands. People will see what they can afford and what they cannot afford. But we love it because of the culture. And if you love something, the money has something to do with it, it's going to look good. The most important thing out of this whole thing is people enjoy themselves. We trying to make everybody sexy, but at the same time, to look decent. That energy stuff here, you don't feel it no more. And it's sad. You used to feel it a whole month before that. I don't, I don't like to use the word gentrification, but in this neighborhood, it was gentrified. I don't have nothing against it, but on this side of the, on this side of the avenue from Eastern Parkway, you don't hear nothing, you don't feel the vibes or nothing. Crossing Eastern Parkway going down to Empire, you want to hear party going on, that's where it's going to be. But this side, we're the only band on this side of the town. I got people coming to register from Bed-Stuy, and that's a long way. I got people coming from Long Island, because every other... Thank you. That is it. We see you next week. In the week. We'll see you in the week, okay? So this is the end of it. Thank you very much, everybody who was there. And again, remember to share.